Legend has it that it was written by the Dark One, Necronomicon Ex Mortis. Roughly translated, Book of the Dead. Found in human flesh and inked in blood, this ancient Sumerian text contained bizarre burial rites, funerary incantations, and demon resurrection passages. It was never meant for the world of the living. Well, maybe not quite found in human flesh and inked in blood. The Necronomicon was actually written by the mad Cthulhu worshipping Arab called Abdul Al-Hazred, or at least that's what H.P. Lovecraft would have you to believe. H.P. Lovecraft went from writing simple pot boilers and such pulp magazines as Weird Tales to becoming one of the greatest writers of horror and fantasy fiction of the 20th century. He would eventually be hailed as horror fiction's dark and baroque prince by some fan called Stephen King, and he would later go on to influence writers, artists, and filmmakers everywhere. Howard Phillips Lovecraft was born in Providence, Rhode Island on June 20th, 1890. Growing up, he was a sickly child with an eccentric imagination who would often write short stories to spend his time. He ultimately never graduated from high school, never getting a diploma, but often telling his friends that he did. In 1924, he married a Ukrainian Jewish hat seller named Sonia Green. Together, they moved to New York City. But it is often said that Lovecraft was an adamant racist. As the creator of the Cthulhu mythos, a universe filled with strange monsters and black magic and alien gods from other dimensions, we have Lovecraft to thank from squid faced monsters everywhere, from the lovable to the sinister. The first title in this canon is called At the Mountains of Madness, which features a group of scientists from the fictional Mystic University in Massachusetts on an expedition into Antarctica, where they discover above the giant mountains of snow an ancient alien city. It is there where they unleash a horror in the form of the Shagaths. It was terrible, indescribable thing, vaster than any subway train a shapeless congeries of protoplasmic bubbles faintly self-luminous with myriads of temporary eyes forming and unforming as pustules of green light all over the tunnel filling front that bore down upon us crushing the frantic penguins and slithering over the glistening floor that it and its kind had swept so evilly free of, of all litter still came the eldritch mocking cry Tikili, tiki at last we remember that the demonic shagots given life thought and plastic organ patter slowly by the old ones, and having no language save for what the dark groups had expressed, have likewise no voice save for the imitative accents of their bygone masters. In the story, Lovecraft slowly built a sense of dread by making several historical and literary references, by referencing the Necronomicon and Edgar Allan Poe's The Narrative of Arthur Gordon Pym, which is his first full-length novel often suggesting that Poe had known about this place in Antarctica a century prior. I was fortunate enough to interview Mr. Lovecraft this afternoon. How are you doing, sir? No, you didn't! Fix that. Give me a handshake like a man, you little douchebag. Thank you, sir. I'm going to have you lynched. All right, well, let's hear a little bit about your work. I'm a big fan of your horror fiction, and can you tell us a little bit about what inspired these great horror stories? Well, it all started with my my nightmares. I, I didn't really like them, so I wrote about them. Get over them. That's interesting. And uh, from what I understand, you dabbled a little bit in black magic, or you did some research. The dark about arts, it. not black magic. Right. Yes, sir. dark arts, not black magic. Get it right. Yes, sir. I Get it tight. I apologize, sir. Um, now, I've read some of your stories. Can you tell us, your, one of your more, more famous ch chapters in your life is the Cthulhu Mythos? Is that correct? Well, yes, the Cthulhu Mythos. 
Excuse me, there goes through a little bit, but it was, I, I really enjoyed writing that one. Well, let me tell you what it's about. It's about um, Ellen God, the nasty octopus face, comes out and starts terrorizing people. That's pretty badass, but this is a result of it. It is badass. Okay, now, tip. Another inspiration for writers. It's legendary, you know, some people don't know if it's fact or if it's fiction. Some people say you created it, some people said that you got the idea from something else. What exactly is the Necronomicon? Necronomicon is an apocalypse, my friend. The dead rise, they kill everyone else. A lot of critics accuse your work of being racist or, you know, racially discriminative. What do you have to say to those critics? I don't like them porch monkeys. After living a life of inspiring millions of artists around the world, H.P. Lovecraft tragically died on March 15, 1937, of intestinal cancer. There's something wrong with the teleprompter? Died in 1930. Okay. Who the hell did I interview this afternoon?